Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel today uh, for Off the Board. I am going to be inspired by these uh, plant stakes uh, made from inspiration from the It's a Small World ride. So I decided to print a photo um, at the end. It has my name, Lana's name, and Christopher's name saying goodbye to us. And I went and pulled some products that I thought would be fun to scrapbook with. So I have this arrow cut file. I also have some paper house products. These have arrows that I was excited to use. All of these mini uh, teeny tiny floral stickers. Uh, I have a couple uh, packages in one. Um, of course, some cork because you guys know I love me some cork. I pulled out this absolutely gorgeous pink uh, wood grain paper. It is um, this paper right here. It has flamingos on the front and then the pink wood grain on the back. And since this is a Disney photo and it's going in a Disney album, I pulled my absolute favorite yellow paper house paper. I love this yellow. It is a perfect color. It goes great on Disney uh, photos and it's got a cut apart uh, for traveling on this sheet. And this is the Explore Your World collection. I have a stash of this yellow paper because I love it that much and the color just makes me that happy. I can't even explain to you guys how happy it makes me. Now I also have um, a little bit of cork uh, right here that I'm going to uh, play with and pull in to go with the cork in my paper house embellishments. So let's see what I can do. All right guys, so I have this cut file and it is a bunch of arrows and I'm not exactly sure where it came from, uh, but it has been in my stash for a little bit. I thought I was gonna have the bright idea of using some nice purple tape to hold it down and just back the entire thing. Uh, but you know, the cut file is a little flimsy and wobbly and it really wasn't working for me. So I decided that I was going to uh, back these arrows one by one. Now, if I actually had this cut file on my uh, computer, like it was mine, I could have backed uh, it by just cutting it out uh, twice and with two different kinds of paper, one for the actual cut file and then one to inlay. Uh, but I am not doing that. Um, so I'm just going to double check to make sure that uh, this uh, arrow fits. And then I'm going to bust out these tiny, tiny little floral stickers. And I'm going to just fill in the arrow with these stickers. I'm going to use a variety of sizes. Now I know that that sounds really weird that I'm going to use a variety of sizes when I'm using tiny stickers, but there are larger tiny stickers and there are tiny, tiny stickers. So I'm going to go ahead and mix those up. Um, also going to um, use some of the greenery bits uh, because in my photo, my It's a Small World photo, uh, there are definitely greenery bits. Now, I am not going to make you watch me um, do this for the entire process for the arrows because it really is tedious, but I wanted to show you how I'm using my cork to fill in the arrows as well. So I'm just going to um, end up using about, I would say almost a sheet and a three quarters of these stickers, uh, which basically is almost an entire package because I have multiple packages in, um, this sticker thing and that is because I don't appreciate packaging and I want as little as possible. Um, so I combined a couple different packages of those stickers. So there we go. I have the cut file um, starting to get backed so that is super exciting and now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing. Now I did not have to use pink uh, for this uh, particular arrow because I am going to cover it with cork. Um, I could have used whatever else if I was worried about saving the pink paper, but you guys, I have a small stash of this pink wood grain paper because I have a love affair with paper houses, wood grain papers, especially this pink one. So I got a stash. 
Now I have this roll of basically it's cork washi tape um, and I'm just going to uh, go ahead and trim that down and just completely cover the entire arrow. Of course, I do struggle getting the backing off of it uh, ever so slightly, um, but you know, it's okay. It is okay. And then the little piece that I cut off, I am able to place that in the corner of the arrow right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Now I am careful to get the cork close to each other so you really don't see a join line. Um, I mean, if you're looking up close and personal with this layout and like you're down in the details, you're probably going to see the join line. Uh, but if you're just flipping through my album, looking at things and admiring things, because, you know, <laughs> you know, I would hope you would admire my layouts of my albums, <laughs> um, then you uh, wouldn't really notice the join. And, you know, I admire my own layouts of my albums. I enjoy looking at them. Um, I enjoy looking at the photos and the memories, but I also enjoy looking at the decoration too. Like that's part of it for me. Um, so I am just going to uh, go ahead and uh, mat, I almost said mat this, uh, glue this down, this uh, cork bit, and go ahead and place that down so that it is there. And then yay, now I have a cork backed cut file. Now this is the paper I have left over, um, this pink piece of wood grain, but I felt like I needed a bigger piece. Um, it didn't go all the way uh, across like I wanted it to, and I kind of wanted to have this yellow piece be a little bit of wonky and offset. Um, and I definitely felt like I needed this yellow piece because this is a lot of pink. Um, and while I am not entirely sure, uh, how this uh, particular album, uh, this particular Disney trip, um, its album is going to be decorated. Like, I don't know what my thing is yet. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be a certain color throughout. I don't know if I'm gonna do a hidden Mickey throughout. I don't know if I'm gonna use a particular, you know, something that I'll add later. I don't know yet. Um, so to be able to kind of keep that feeling so that there's not all kinds of weirdness going on, I decided to use my favorite yellow paper and I absolutely adore this yellow paper. Now I wanted to pop these arrows up so I had thought about using these uh, round pop dots or foam, foam dots and uh, ultimately I decided I wasn't going to do that I was just going to use some unfun foam um, and that way I could trim the unfun foam down and make it as skinny or as wide as I needed it to be for these arrows. Now I am on the phone with my son while I am creating this layout. So like you saw me fold my hands there and there are times where I've cut out parts because you know my hands are just moving and I'm not scrapbooking, I'm just chatting with him. Um, we were on uh, FaceTime together. So if there's any kind of weirdness going on, <laughs> Any more weirdness than normal, I should say. Um, it's because I am on the phone with him. So this is unfun foam for one reason. It has no sticky. Um, the uh, the sticky foam is fun foam. So this is unfun foam. And if they ever make a uh, foam with sticky on both sides, I don't know what I'll do with myself. I gotta come up with a name for it. Like, do I call it heck of a fun foam? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have to think about that because I don't think they make it. And if they do, I'm not aware. So I'm just going to uh, go ahead and get these foam bits down. And then as you can see, there are two arrows that I did not back. And I did not back them for one reason and one reason alone. I knew where my photo is going to go and the photo is going to completely cover up both of those arrows. The other arrows, you're going to be able to see at least part of them. So I wanted to treat them as a full uh, backed cut file because I wasn't exactly sure where the photo was going to go. Like if I was going to cover up, um, like how much of the other arrows I was going to cover up. But I knew for a fact, knew for certain, the photo was going to cover up these two. So I do have the arrows basically facing off of the page and I decided to do it uh, this way because of the angle I have my uh, papers at. So they're kind of like at a wonky angle turning right a little bit. So I felt like my arrows needed to go right a little bit as well. 
My photo is a four by six photo, so I went ahead and trimmed down my paper to four and a half by six and a half, and that's gonna give me that beautiful pink color border all the way around my photo. Now this photo is pretty cool uh, because usually uh, when you're in the boat and the RFID reader is reading your magic band, um, you get put, like you get lumped together um, so that all the names are on one screen. But in this time, because we were in uh, Disney World in COVID, uh, we went during September 2020, um, it was cool because each of our names were on a screen. So I thought that that was awesome and I had to take a picture of it. So now I'm going to add um, adhesive to the photo and then I'm gonna stick some foam underneath of the photo where the arrows do not sit. That way my photo is not going to be leaning. Don't need a leaning photo. Um, and then I'm just gonna take my blue Muji pen and I'm gonna do a sketchy uh, border around two sides of the yellow paper. Now, you didn't need to do this, but I felt like I wanted just a tiny bit more uh, definition. So that's what I went with. So I have these cork embellishments and I really thought that that arrow was going to be something that I use and it turns out I don't. Now I end up using the awesome, the love it, and that little cork heart arrow. Um, but I had, had turned off the camera and was still chatting with Alex and then forgot I had turned off the camera and kind of finished decorating the page. So you'll see um, where I added those bits. Um, in the still photos at the end because I just, you know, forgot to press record again because I got caught up in my uh, conversation with my son. So I have these epoxy uh, stickers right here and they have lots of arrows on them. So I decided to add a little bit um, of the epoxy texture and the shining shimmering splendid of the gold uh, on here. And I'm just going to go ahead and place them uh, around the arrows. And then of course, those arrows are pointing the same direction as the arrow cut file. Don't want my arrows facing two different directions. Now, do I have layouts where my arrows are facing all different directions? You bet your sweet bippy I do. Uh, but this layout, wasn't feeling it, wasn't feeling it. Wanted it all in uh, one direction. So that is what I'm doing. Now these are kind of like summertime themed. Um, so I'm not using the super soaker one. I'm not using any of those, but the arrows, perfect for this. Absolutely perfect. Now I am trying to figure out what in the world I am going to do. Like while I'm talking to Alex, I'm trying to figure out where I need to add embellishment and where I need all of the fun things, right? Like. Sometimes you know exactly what you want and sometimes you don't. So I pull out these thickers and they're like a colorful marquee style thicker. And I'm just trying to find uh, coordinating colors uh, to the colors that I have going on uh, in my layout and also in the photo. Uh, and then I am trying to make sure that the colors aren't so similar. I want you to be able to see the distinction between each letter and that they are each different. Um, so I am going to use some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to stick these guys down. Uh, and that is because I peeled off the backing of the one uh, letter right here, the B. And then, you know, they're thicker, so they're not gonna stick. You know you gotta add extra adhesive. And I really find that the Nouveau Deluxe is my jam. Like it just works. It is the only liquid adhesive I have stuck with. Um, other times I use one and I'm like, yeah, this is all right. And then I just stop using it. Um, but this is the only one I have actually uh, stuck with. So I'm messing around with these little cork labels again, just trying to figure out where they're gonna go. I set them off to the side. And like I said uh, earlier, they will make it on. Um, now I'm going to pull out these little uh, letter stickers. And you guys, these are the Mom, Mondo, Lando, Mamba Lamba, whatever. I'm looking, I'm here it is. It was in my trash. It is Mondo Llama. And they are, um, they are um, basically they're thickers, 
like look at them they are thickers um, there's a couple different versions of them that target sells um, my target does not sell them I had to order these online um, they were on sale uh, so I had ordered them um, but cheap like cheaper than regular thickers price so those are available I went ahead and used um, some goodbye words, uh, the same words that were uh, on the ride. So we have so long, um, ciao, uh, auf Wiedersehen, uh, au revoir, au, au revoir, <laughs> au revoir. Wow, you know what? There are just some words that just don't come out of my mouth correctly and that's one of them. Um, like I can, I can say it in my mind perfectly. And when I, my open my mouth, it just doesn't come out. So there we go. We're just gonna, like I'm saying in my mind, <laughs> just imagine I'm saying it. And then uh, we have adios over here. So I'm gonna get those guys down. Uh, then I turn off my camera and I put the heart cork uh, up here at the top, uh, dividing the pink and the yellow together. Um, and then I put on the love it and the awesome labels. And then I add some journaling uh, about all the things I've talked about, about how fun it is to have our names on the screen uh, from the RFID. So I did make sure that all my letters were super colorful um, because my photo is super colorful and it's a small world is super colorful. So I just wanted that feeling uh, to be there. Now, I think I'm just going to touch my paper a little bit and then we're going to call that done. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, let me know if you have words that you struggle to say. Um, I have a couple of them. So apparently I have more than I more than I knew I had because, you know, that's there. Who knows? Who knows? So, yeah, touching the paper and then we're going to... Uh, uh, stop the video. So you will see um, the additions that I talked about on the still photos at the end of the video here. And um, I will see you guys again uh, really soon for another video. Um, this is kind of a simple, easy back to cut file, not one that was super intricate or anything, but I still think it makes a big impact, um, especially with those teeny tiny flowers uh, in there. It's almost like it is, um, it's almost like you're making your own pattern paper, right? Like you are filling your cut file with something awesome and something fun. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again real soon for another video.